الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة وسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا فما بعد My brothers and sisters we are looking at how do we develop khashyat of Allah Let us now look at how do we develop the hub and the love of Allah because as i mentioned to you taqwa is a combination of these two beautiful things the khashyat of Allah and the love of Allah the awe and glory and majesty of Allah and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when these two get together we have a condition in the heart which is called at taqwa so to develop hub of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we must concentrate on the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what has Allah blessed me with and seriously i mean it's not just a matter of you know saying this as like lip service oh everything i have is from allah of course it is from allah where else will it be from the point is are you conscious of that are you conscious of that are you do you have a feeling to say subhanallah this is what allah gave me and there is not a person in the world who can say that what allah gave me is what i deserved i couldn't have got anything else i had to have this If Allah didn't give me this, who else would He give me? No, nobody can say that. And if if somebody says that, that's an arrogant and stupid and false statement. What Allah gave us, Allah didn't give us because of us. He gave us in spite of us. Allah gave us whatever He gave us, despite the fact that we don't deserve it. Allah gave us eyesight and Allah continues to allow us to have the eyesight even when we use it wrongly to look at haram. Allah gave us this speech and he continues to enable us and allow us to have it and use it even though we use this speech to to foul mouth people for profanity for backbiting for slandering for lying for cheating. Allah knows this tongue is the biggest fitna rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said guaranteed for me what is between your jaws and what is between your legs and i will give you i will guarantee you jannah people asked him ya rasulullah will this tongue take us into jahannam nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam held it like this his his blessed tongue and he said this will take more people into the fire than anything else yet when we have this tongue even though we use it for all kinds of stuff allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not take away the power of speech from us allah gave us hearing and allah does not take away the hearing when we use it to listen to something which he has prohibited right allah gave us alhamdulillah good health allah gave us waqar and izza allah gave us prestige and dignity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us knowledge he gave us the ability to communicate this knowledge he gave us the ability to learn and every time i think about something and i say and the greatest and then i think of something which is even greater but one of the greatest is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the door of istighfar and tauba that we can retreat through into his protection into his haram we are out there in the sea of inequity of sin of rebellion of maasiyat toys in the hands of shaitan shaitan and his cohorts are playing football with us and we being the ball but then allah gave us this door of istighfar and tauba when we call upon our rabb and say oh allah forgive me allah promised to forgive and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the he gave us this guarantee he said qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu mir rahmatillah 
ان اللہ یقفر الظنوب جمیع ان هو الغفور الرحیم اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ سے دو سے ٹو دیم او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مائی سلیوز ہو ہیو ٹرانسگریسڈ اگینسٹ دیم سیلفس سبحان اللہ مائی رب جل جلال ایون دو وی ڈس اوبے ہیم اسٹل کالز اس یو آر مائن ہی اسٹل سیز وی آر وی آر ہیز اینڈ ہی سیٹ سے ٹو دیم سے ٹو دیم او مائی سلیوز ہو ہیو ٹرانسگریسڈ اگینسٹ یور سیلفس ڈو ناٹ لوز ہوپ ان دا مرسی آف اللہ ان اللہ یقفر الدنو بجمیا بریلی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ فگیوز آل سنس ان الغفور رحیم بریلی ہی از دا وان ہوز دا موسٹ فگیونگ موسٹ مرسیفل دس از اللہ تھنک اباؤٹ دس مائی سسٹرس اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ گیو اس آئی ایم لوکنگ ایٹ سم آف دی ود ان کوٹس منڈین ڈیلی تھنگس بٹ ایچ ون آف دیم از سو امپارٹنٹ دیٹ اف وی ڈنٹ ہیو اٹ وی وڈ ناٹ بی ایبل ٹو سروائو یو نو وین وی ڈسکور دی دی جوائے اینڈ دی ویلیو آف بینگ ایبل ٹو بریت فریلی وداؤٹ اینی 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 پرابلمس وین وی گاٹ فیسڈ کووڈ ask somebody who is on a ventilator the value of being able to breathe freely. This is a tragedy of the human race that you get the value of something only after you have lost it. Let's not be that. Let us reflect on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us while we still have it so that then we can truly appreciate it and be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think of the, of, the, of the relationships we have. Our, our parents, our children, our spouses, our friends and relatives. SubhanAllah, so every time I think of this aspect of my life, I feel I am so blessed. Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me some really beautiful people in my life. Some have gone ahead and left beautiful memories. Others, alhamdulillah, are still with me. Really, I mean, just think about that. How blessed we are. And whoever it is, no matter what difficulty you are going through in life, remember there is a blessing behind it. You might say to somebody, somebody might say to you, well, you know, I have cancer, terminal case, last stage of cancer. What is the blessing? Then the blessing is that inshallah, if you die with that inner state of Iman, inshallah you go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your sins clean because Allah has wiped them all out thanks to the illness He gave you. Somebody might say, well you know, I got COVID and I'm dying with COVID, I'm on the ventilator and they don't have any hope, they think I'm going to die tomorrow morning. Well, you know what? Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the power to cure you and may Allah cure you completely. And, but if you die of that, then you die shaheed, inshaAllah. Right? We don't make a definitive statement, but Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the one who dies of a pandemic, of, a, of an epidemic, died a shaheed. We don't ask for calamities, but when the calamity comes, we accept it with equanimity. Because we know that in it is khair. Whatever Allah does, Allah does with khair. And we have complete and total faith in this. Alhamdulillah. That is the reason why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, how beautiful is the state of the believer that when he has some benefit, he makes shukur and Allah is pleased with him. And when he has some difficulty, he has suffer and Allah is pleased with him. We talked about khashyat and we talked about hub. The awe and majesty and glory of Allah and the love of Allah. Put these together and we have taqwa. Ask Allah to fill your hearts with taqwa. And that is why Ramadan came to make us muttaqoon. La'allakum tattaqwa. So think about this and see how can we become more and more muttaqi insha'Allah. So that we take full advantage of this beautiful month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us. And we don't lose anything. 
وصلى الله على نبينا الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه